With the Toronto Maple Leafs prospect camp coming to a close, one player came in and surprised everyone with his play, and Easton Cowan speaks out on his previous season and what he's looking forward to. I'll get into this later on this episode. Before I get into it, I just want to give a shout out to the 4,028 of you guys. You guys smashed the goal of reaching 4,000 by Sunday. We're going to set a new goal of 4,500 by next Sunday. If you guys enjoy this content and you want to keep up to date on everything to do with the NHL, make sure to go down and hit that subscribe button. We'll be here all off season into next season giving you updates from around the league. But with that, let's hop straight into the first topic today, which is Miroslav Holinka shines. So we do get some tweets from Kyle Cushman, friend of the show. Check out his Twitter. He's an awesome guy. But he says, Haley Wickenheiser called Miroslav Holinka a bright spot in camp. Nice hands. You can really tell he played professional men's hockey. Just his habits, his detail of the game, some of the plays he makes. Now, Holinka went into this prospect's final scrim and scored two goals in the first half, looking like a dominant force for a late-round pick for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Now, you might be asking, who is Miroslav and where did the Leafs get him? Miroslav was drafted this year in the fifth round, 151st overall by the Toronto Maple Leafs. He's a center slash winger, six foot one, 185 pounds, coming out of Chechnya. So with this guy, he has been playing professional hockey with some professionals at the age of 18. And Haley Wickenheiser kind of speaks on it and says how his nice hands, how you can tell he plays professionally with men. Now, Herlinka is a guy that's going to have to have some development, but there is a lot of bright spots on this guy who the Leafs did get quite late. I mean, when you're looking at him, a versatile and efficient player with smooth hands and who offers quality defensive work due to his size. What else could you ask for in a fifth round pick? A guy coming in a lot to prove. When you see a lot of these prospects, especially a guy taken in the fifth round, the sixth round, or the seventh round, they have a lot to prove. Coming into your first rookie camp with the Toronto Maple Leafs, showing just upside, showing what you can do, and surprising the assistant to the general manager and Haley Wickenheiser, who has quite a ton of professional experience, is something that's going to look great on this kid. And I do expect him maybe in the next two to three years, work his way to North America, hop in for the Marlies, and maybe this will come in as one of the steals of the drafts. Now, when you're looking at Holinka's stats, like I said, a center, right-handed, 18 years old, six foot one already at 18, which is a good sign. He still has room to grow. This guy's stats don't look flashy. Last season with the uh, in the Czech League, he did put up two uh, games played, zero goals, zero assists. He did go into this year, and the biggest thing with looking at this, yes, seeing three points in 16 games is not something that you're going to look at and be like, wow, this is outstanding. But having a guy come in, putting up three points at the age of 18, he was 17 when he joined this team, having someone at this young age playing with professionals, playing in a professional league in this country is quite outstanding. Having him into this situation and getting him in the fifth round is quite big for the Leafs. But what's your guys' thoughts on the Leafs drafting this year? What's your thoughts on getting a guy like Kalenka in the fifth round? Could you maybe see him a bottom six or middle six player for the Toronto Maple Leafs? Let me know down in the comments. But speaking of prospects, we're going to get right into the second topic today, which is Easton Cowan speaks out. Now, like I said, Kyle Cushman, shout out because he has a lot of quotes from this. Easton Cowan said, I want to make the team. That's always been my goal. I want to play in the NHL one day, and I'm feeling very confident. Just got to come into camp, be a very reliable player, and someone coach can trust. I got to learn game management a little bit better, and I think it'll be good. Now, Easton Cowan is a guy that everyone that is a Toronto Maple Leafs fan should know. This guy was drafted in the first round, last draft, and he has done everything to impress. You can see just two years ago in the London Knights system, 68 games, 20 goals, 33 assists for 53 points. He was under a point per game. The Leafs drafted him at 28th overall after tra uh, trading Rasmus Sandin for this pick. And everyone's heads kind of shook. You see him go into his next season with the London Knights, winning the OHL championship in 54 games. He had 34 goals, 62 assists for 96 points. This is a guy that's been outstanding. We've seen him make the World Juniors U20 Championship. We've seen him dominate going into the Memorial Cup. Obviously ended up losing, but he still looked great. You look at his playoff stats in 18 games, 10 goals, 24 assists for 34 points. Easton Cowan is the real deal, 19 years old, and this is where we're going to really see the confidence build, where this guy wants to get into the system, having these seasons... He doesn't need to be in the OHL. He's proven that he is more of a player that can play outside of the OHL. He was a guy that played in the preseason for the Leafs and almost made the opening night roster. Now, Easton Cowan does go on to describe those game management improvements. 
more stops and starts, kind of opening up my body towards the check instead of turning my back, just having my head on a swivel at all times, really just getting it in blue line, little plays like that go a long way. Obviously, seeing Easton Cowan, a guy that's having a dominant season, still say he needs to improve in different areas of the game, including learning how to take checks better, how to manage the game, and just overall work in the blue line, little plays, everything like this, like he said, will go a long way. Now, the biggest thing with Easton Cowan, and it's going to be a lot going into the season, is if he makes the opening night roster. Like I said, we've seen Easton Cowan dominate in the OHL. He has nothing left to prove in the OHL, especially with the stats of putting up 96 points in 54 games. This guy is too young to be in the OHL, so that leaves one possible option, and that's making the NHL. Now, just looking at this roster, obviously Matthew Nyes, Austin Matthews, and William Nylander will be the top line for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Bobby McMahon, John Tavares, Mitch Marner on the second line. Left wing on the third line is open. Obviously, Nick Robertson was a guy that asked for a trade. He wants to be moved to a different organization. The Leafs are up against the cap wall. They don't have a lot. With a full roster of just having all your forwards with two extra defensemen, they are working with 100000 in cap. So bringing a guy like Easton Cowan on this ELC, a contract that's going to benefit the Leafs tremendously, he's going to get a minimum of six games, in my opinion. We've seen Fraser Mitten do this just last season, come in, play his six to seven games, get sent back down, but I don't think we're going to see Easton Cowan go down. Yes, he might be a small frame, but fitting him on this line of Max Domi and Kelly Yarncroak, maybe you want to try him on the line with John Tavares and Mitch Marner. This guy four checks. This guy can play the penalty kill. He can play the power play. I know it's not going to be the first power play unit, but getting Easton Cowan into this lineup when the cap is against the wall, I think is the perfect opportunity. Obviously, you still have a situation where a guy like uh, Nick Robertson could come back, but in my opinion, you try right now to bring up a guy like Easton Cowan. A guy that's going to give everything he can to stay in this lineup. A guy that can score goals. He had the biggest uh, streak in OHL history for the most points in consecutive games. This is a guy that's a good playmaker. He's fast. He might be 5'11", but he still has room to grow. This is a guy that's going to be a problem in the NHL for quite some time. And I do think the Leafs need to give him that shot now. And they need to see what he's like. What are you guys' thoughts on Easton Cowan possibly getting up in the Leafs roster? Would you like to see him play the full season? Or do you rather just give him a small sample size, send him back to the OHL to dominate again? Let me know down in the comments. But speaking on comments, let's get everyone's favorite topic, which is comments of the day. Come today comes from SpinCat. Grats on 4K, fellas, and thank you so much. Like I said, you guys smashed this goal, getting us to 4,000. So we're going to try to get it to 4,500 by next Sunday. We don't say it enough, but we appreciate you guys so much. Just you guys are the reasons why we do this. We wouldn't be in the situation we're in right now without you guys. So shout out to you guys, and thank you so much for the 4,000. We're so excited to continue on into the offseason, into next season, and see where this goes. We're going to start doing more live shows. We're going to start doing video submissions for Comment of the Day. But if you want to leave a comment on anything we talked on, you can go down and leave a comment. And you could be featured like Spin Cat did today. While you're down there, leave a like, share this with your friends. Once again, thank you so much to everyone. And I've been your host, Mark Fine. Take care.